Hi, this is Levi Damien from Silver and Black Pride and SB Nation here with your Raiders position battles. This time we move on to those guys who have the toughness to block the defensive ends with the hands and athleticism to be a weapon in the receiving game, the tight ends. Last year the Raiders number one receiver was a tight end, Brandon Myers, but that was more a product of, the, of an overall weak offense and the difficulty getting the ball downfield to the wide receivers. The Raiders didn't make bringing back Myers a priority and he left as a free agent. In reality, the last good option the Raiders had at tight end was Zach Miller, who signed with the Seahawks as a free agent, free agent two seasons ago. The depth chart at the moment is topped by third-year man David Osbury, who the team chose in the seventh round of the 2011 draft. He had switched from wide receiver to tight end late in his college career at USC and was drafted as a project. He came into camp last year having bulked up considerably and looked to make a push to be the team's starter, but that never happened, presumably due in large part to his poor blocking skills. The difference then was he didn't begin camp as the number one tight end. The time is now or never for Osbury with the Raiders, and starting tight end is currently his job to lose. Sharing his first team reps in two tight end sets for the Raiders is Richard Gordon, who the team chose a round before Osbury in that same 2011 draft. Gordon is Osbury's opposite. He blocks very well, but does not have good hands. Gordon is on very shaky ground because he has the Raiders' two drafted rookie tight ends, Nick Casa and Michael Revere, breathing down his neck for a roster spot. Casa and Revere are a lot like Osbury and Gordon. Casa is more known for his blocking prowess, while Revere is very much a receiving tight end. Revere could even split out wide and play the H-back role if asked to do so. The final two tight ends in this group are journeyman Jaron Mastrud and undrafted free agent Brian Leonhardt. Mastrud has played in the league for three seasons with the Dolphins, but has just one career catch. Leonhard made the team after a tryout in rookie minicamp. The thing is, though Osbury and Gordon are currently the team's first team tight ends, their roster spots are anything but on solid ground. One of them is very likely to get cut in favor of the two drafted rookies, and Gordon's three career catches doesn't help his chances. Even Mastrud and Leonhard have a decent chance of making the team. It's pretty much a crapshoot at this juncture, which is not good news for the Raiders. This offense will rely heavily on the tight end position, as was shown last season. They need a reliable target who can make things happen with the ball in his hands while possessing the ability to stand in and protect the quarterback when needed. There's nothing yet to suggest that they have that player on the roster. This makes the tight end position probably the most exciting battle to watch in training camp, but also the most nerve-wracking if you're Dennis Allen. That's all for our Raiders tight end position battles. Again, this is Levi Damien for Silver and Black Pride and SB Nation. Be sure and check out our YouTube channel and be on the lookout for the rest of our Raiders training camp battles. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in camp.